Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello hello everyone. My name is Abdul Karim Alias from uh, University Science Malaysia. In this video, I would like to talk about writing, the skill of writing. Of course, in the academia, as an academic, we have to write. But I don't want to talk about writing in the context of <coughs> publication or to write for publication in the journal. Uh, that is given because we are an academic, we are researchers. So the output from our research can, one of the output from research can be in the form of publication and we write and publish in the journal. That is good because we want to share and disseminate the knowledge and by, pub by publishing our research work in the journal, we will uh, advance the frontier of knowledge. But um, the, the technical writing that we publish in the journal will be read only by kind of our circle, a small peers in, in uh, sharing the same research interest in our, in our research area. Imagine if we can write those technical papers that we have published. Some of us have published, you know, up to 100 or more than 100, some probably more than 200 papers throughout their career. And those papers will be read by our peers, the scientists or the researchers in our area. What about the public? How do we disseminate those technical knowledge that, you know, take millions of research grant to support? And this is actually money from, our, from the taxpayers. And yet, those knowledge remain within the small circle of people. Why not? If we can write those research work in a layman term and publish you know, publish in, on the platform where it can be accessed by anyone around the world. That is a subject that I want to talk about today, about blogging, blog, yeah? But before that, why writing is very important to me, this is a very critical skill that everyone has to master. I find that writing, well, I love writing, I love reading and I love writing. I started write, writing and send my writing um, to magazine when I was in a primary school, you know. So to me, writing is a very important skill to help us to develop the skill to articulate, articulation, which to me is very much lacking in our students. And in fact, our education system is perhaps not really designed to train our students the skill of articulation, expressing something in a short and sweet manner, explaining something with clarity, writing something in a way that people understand with, you know, with one reading of the sentence, they can understand the meaning or without having to read between the lines or between the words even, you know. So this is the skill, the skill of writing to me that I'm still learning myself. Um, so this is where I want to share today in this video about blogging. And I always, you know, advocate, advocating the blogging because in this digital era, the platforms are available. So what I want to share today, right, let me share my screen. Um, this is the blog that I have. Um, so I first, actually I started blogging many years ago with this blog uh, on Google, Google Blogger, One Stop Learning. It's still there. It's still there. I have written, I think, um, I don't know, over 80 articles on this, on this blog. Um, but now uh, I have migrated my blog in, in, on a new platform called Medium. So this is my blog on Medium. Okay, Medium is a new kind of uh, re re relatively new platform. And um, you can, you can uh, Google Medium and you can sign up for Medium because it is a free platform for you to, to blog. But as a reader, um, if you don't have the paid account, the, the free account will allow you to read only three articles, if I'm mistaken, three articles every month. Yeah. 
But um, as a writer, you can sign up for Medium and you can write on this platform. And you know, write, for example, let you can write on on any topics beyond your research area. Or imagine that any paper that you publish, any paper that you publish on the in the journal, from that paper. You take the essence, the intipati, or the gist of the paper, and write it. You know, uh, in a in a way that non-technical, using the ton- non-technical language that layman can understand. You know, simplify it in a way that layman can understand the gist of that paper, or that scientific paper, or of that research article. And this is the way how you can make it visible to the public. And make people understand what you are really doing, and what you have achieved, the, the main findings in your research, in a way that people can understand. And for each article, you know, for each article, you can uh, you can give the link to the full article on your on on the database. And this way also, it can improve, it can enhance the visibility of your research article. And in fact, people will probably will get. The actual paper and cite your work, but it's not about strategy to 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 increase your citation. I don't want to talk about citation here, but it's more on writing. You know, by writing on by blogging, writing on the blog. To me, I find it very very satisfying, and it's a way for me to to translate something in my own ways, in my own the way I understand it, and. Put my thought together and put the words together in a way that you know I can convey the message clearly to the public. So you can go through my um, blog, my blog article here on 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 Medium. To me, this is a wonderful, fantastic platform uh, for you to to start blogging. And the good thing about Medium, and I'm not promoting Medium because I get any commission or what, no. Um, but the good thing about Medium, once you sign up for Medi- sign up for Medium, you can create publication. You can create unlimited number of publication. So, for example, here I have created this publication called Anecdotes of Academia. Yeah, Anecdotes of Academia: Stories of Trial and Tribulation, tri- Tribulation, Chicken Soup for the Academic Souls. And I have invited uh, people to contribute. Andy is open to everyone. If you want to contribute to this one. Uh, you just go to submission here, and you can see the the procedure how to submit. And you can also communicate with me uh, for more details of how you can get your article published here on this uh, anecdotes of academia. And this basically uh, very nicely presented in a magazine format. Okay, and this is basically free. You can create any number of publication here. It could be one focus on your research area, another one on different area, on different topic, and this is how you can increase your visibility. You can uh, do your academic branding through this means. You can uh, basically share your work and make your work visible to the world, and share your thoughts. Share your thoughts with the world, and I I I can stress enough. Uh, How good is this? I mean, uh, blogging as a way to uh, you know to improve our skill in in writing. This basically will kind of um, give us a world kind of a world view, kind of um, a, a wider perspective of things, which will make it. Make make us more kind of you know uh, give you the the wisdoms of looking at things from different perspective and so on. So that's why I always tell people you know read read read, write write write. So this is another um, blog publication also using Medium platform sustaining planet Earth. This one is basically on the anecdotes of related to teaching and learning and academic thing. Academic matters, education and higher education. But this one, I want to focus this publication for anything related to sustainability, 
because USM, University of Science Malaysia, is a university that advocating and championing sustainability. So this is one way of how we as a USM staff can champion in our own way, champion the sustainability. So if you want to publish anything related to sustainability, I would like to invite you to publish here, Sustaining Planet Earth. Yeah? You can also blog, this microblogging. If you, know, if you don't want to write long article, you can use microblogging using Tumblr here. So this is my Tumblr. You can check check out my Tumblr here. There's the address there. Uh, and I share a lot of things here. It's a mix of academic and non-academic things as well. So I call it vibrant colors of life. Yeah. And this is simply speaking, this is actually a, a blog. Uh, USM blogs where we here we invite people to publish their scientific work or their research work in and write it in the layman term okay that's why we call it simply speaking making science and art research palatable to the general public okay and um, you can write on any area we, we have category arts education science society and humanity sustainability and these are some of the articles that we have published here, so, uh, mostly from USM staff, USM uh, academics. So I would like to, you know, call upon, uh, I mean, invite all of you, uh, have a look at Simply Speaking um, blog, simplyspeaking.usm.my, and we would like to invite all of you to publish your research work but write it in the layman term and just write in the word uh, document sent to us and we will do the rest okay so ladies and gentlemen um i hope my my main message from from this um, from this uh, video is about writing and blogging and i really want to encourage all of you to, to start blogging uh, on Medium or on any blog platform like uh, WordPress even and start to uh, share your research work and write uh, in layman term, in a non-technical term so that you can now spread your knowledge far and wide uh, with the public. So I think with that, um, thank you very much uh, for listening. Uh, I hope I have given value for your time. And uh, don't forget to, if you're new here on this channel, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day.